Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Billions, episode number 5, The Good Life. In this episode here, you got two things going on. You have Bobby, who looks like he wants to quit everything. Give it all up, spend time with his family, go on his boat, and just sell the world. Why not? He has the money. And then you have Chuck Rhodes. And he has been trying since the first episode to take down Bobby Axelrod. He knows he's dirty. He's trying to find the evidence that he needs to take him down and send him to jail. And that's what you have going on here. Now, the thing about this episode is, everything is not what it seems. You have Bobby, who looks like he wants to quit and give it up. Or maybe he doesn't. And then you have Chuck Rhodes, a lawyer whose his job is to take down people who, who break the law. And he's not exactly what he seems either. It's like the difference between Bobby's team and Chuck's team is so weird. It, it, it's, it's like Wolf of Wall Street, but in reverse. Like in Wolf of Wall Street, in Wolf of Wall Street, um, Leonardo DiCaprio's character, even though he loved his wife and everything, but he was like in the drugs and all the partying and all the stuff like that, crazy life. But Bobby on this thing, as his life is pretty normal. I mean, other than the fact he has a he has a, a billion dollars, he has a whole lot of money, yes. But his, him and his wife and he has two kids. Other than that, other than the money. Their life is pretty normal, almost boring in a way. They just have money to do things. And but then you have Chuck Rhodes' life and how he is with his wife. I mean, nothing wrong with that. That's what he likes. That's what he likes. But he's into like dominatrix being whipped, being beaten, getting peed on. He, he, cause he's he's so about he's he's so much in being in control in his life that when he's outside in his personal life, he wants to be dominated. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Hey, he with, his, he with his wife. Both of them are into it. Both are sending adults. Fine with them. But it's just totally different than how Bobby is. And then you have Bobby's right, right, hand, right hand man, Wags. Now, they don't really show too much of his personal life that too much. But he doesn't seem like he's too crazy, really. And then you have Chuck's right hand man, Brian, who seems to can't stop sleeping with the people who he's working with. Like first, he's sleeping, he's sleeping with one FBI agent, and now he looks like he's about to like sleep with another lawyer on the team. And this other dude, get your life together. You, you're working with these people. They will find out. They are these are two smart women. What are you doing? You don't want to mess mess it up like that. You, it's bad enough you you, you you with one. Don't try to get two. Like the lies between these two characters, between these two characters, like it's just so weird. It's like wow, like on, the the good guys seem pretty dirty, but the bad guys seem like the, they're the, they're the clean ones. It's it's so interesting, but I, again, overall, I enjoyed this episode a whole lot. I had a, a lot a whole lot of fun watching it. And let your comments down below and let me know what you thought about this episode of Billions. And if you haven't watched the billions, I'll check it out for yourself. I'm taking my word for it. Hopefully you will enjoy this as much as I do. That's all I gotta say about that. So give my channel a big old like and thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. So like I always say in my dreams in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of peoples.